Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I've just now this second noticed that the second hand is actually moving on that clock, which is not something I have ever seen before in a video game. The time is not accurate to my system clock, but whatever. Uh, I opened on this shot because I uh, took a picture of that poster with Google Lens, and it does translate from Georgian. But I'm not sure all of it is accurate. The top bit just says Ministry of Defense, which makes sense. But uh, then it claims that below that it says, from top to bottom, Tank Plank, Boat Bomber, Boot Tactical Metal, Place Orator, Sample Quick, Spider, Spoon Spy, Stadia Wall Street, Toilet, and then the bottom part below the box is apparently written upside down and says, Olive oil. Stage before cooking in the air. We surg we sung verg apatili. That doesn't mean even mean anything. Congre place orator sample fast. Spider in cove spy stage Wall Street. Gas on a plank boat. What? God damn, Google. I know that asking a computer to do a translation is always rough, and that this is kind of a low res sample, but Jesus. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out once more to Quarter Life Crises, who says, uh, You're pretty close in thinking the current uh, Georgian flag looks like something the Knights Templar would use. The central cross, surrounded by four crosses, is called the Jerusalem Cross, and it was the emblem of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, where the Knights Templar were originally headquartered. And then, uh... I thought this is interesting. The sign with the English bothers me less than the sign that seems to have Cyrillic script, because the Georgian script looks completely different, and we've seen it in multiple places during the game. And I'd imagine the Georgians wouldn't be too fond of using Cyrillic after their independence. Um... Alright. Uh, yes. I guess we should get going. I just would want to read this one. Shout out to Justin Jones. He says, yeah, our police forces may have issues here in the West, but in other countries, let's just say that they're not there to serve and protect. Read a book a while back called Maximum City. It's a book, non-fiction, about Mumbai in the 1990s, and one of the chapters was about a police detective that the author got to shadow for a bit. This in quotes, detective, would up often obtain confessions by arresting the suspect's family or loved ones and beating on them until the suspect confessed to the crime. This lines up with what several of my friends from that part of the world have communicated with me. You do not want to have any interactions with the police force over there unless you are well-connected or can afford a bribe. Excuse me, they call them premium processing fees now. Oh boy, and I thought North, North American cops are bad enough. trouble catching onto the edge of this vent here. Ah! Somebody's coming. What in the world makes you say that? I was going as slow as possible, crouching, and in a fucking vent above your head. Alright, I see where I'm not wanted. I'm gonna try and go over there. I didn't actually expect that would work that easily. I thought I'd have to jump back up manually. Oh, this vent is only painted on. Can't get out that way. Ah! Except if I remember correctly, there was a camera at the end of this corridor. I mean, I am going to have to wait until the fucking alert ends. Okay, there we go. Alright, fuck it. Oh, I don't know where to move. Hey, 
Maybe that one colonel there is a douche. Damn it! No, fuck it, since I did just do that. I do kind of love the silent landing, though. Like, he tenses up his uh, entire body at once so that he can control the landing better. I think I mentioned that before. Damn it! Fine, I'll allow that one. What's this? Okay, it's not the closet I thought it was going to be. I can't open this door. Maybe this one's a closet. I need somewhere where no one will definitely go. Aha! Uh, is that ammo? It is ammo! There's a box of bullets in here right next to the Windex. Other cleaning brands are available. Okay, I can use this ladder, and I can probably take this with... Yoink! Medkit. Let me guess. Yeah, it's just a light switch. He turns that one on with his mind, of course. Look, I'm just saying you'd still be alive if you hadn't been stupid and come out into that corridor for no reason. that on. I really don't like these sheets of metal on the wall. They do make the base look a lot cheaper, especially from the fact that they're not actually flat against the wall on the tops and bottoms. Oh, that's the other end of the corridor. I've already broken that camera. Nice! Oh shit, I was just gonna go ahead and grab that guy, but he's facing another dude. Shit, I can't get all the lights in there from the outside of the room. Pull off the daredevil trick. I did strongly consider trying to uh, drop from the vent and land on that guy, but I wasn't even sure I could open the thing. What's this door, then? Oh, no, there's the other door. Yes, this, this is the one I wanted to investigate. God damn it. Um. Oh, lock jam! I wonder if that'll uh, bore through it. Nope, they just do not want me going through there, period. I wonder. Now I don't seem to be able to go back up there. Great. Well, I could try this ladder. Maybe that gets me back into the vent. Again. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, what was the purpose of this? None of this does me any good at all, because I can't get down to the floor from here without dying. Yeah, okay, there's, uh, windows on this side, I guess, but... What was... Well, I'm glad I wandered near this fucking chimney thing, because I got interact repel on wall. I didn't know that was an option. Yeah, they've got that backwards. That's weird. The upper quadrants should definitely be the ones at the very end of the pole. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure every flag works that way, so I don't know how Ubisoft could have fucked that one up. Mind you, I did hear that the new Spider-Man game has, uh... Uh, had, sorry, I should say, an issue at launch when, uh... a character who, uh, was, uh, Puerto Rican had the Cuban flag in his, uh, apartment because those flags are, like, exactly identical aside from the color is being inverted. thought was going to happen there. Fuck! Oh. Oh, embarrassing. I didn't mean to go all the way back here. I mean, the point stands. I don't know where I was... Now I'm really confused. Where does this lead? I kind of thought I was just looping around to the same room. But no, then there was only one guy in it, so I'll shoot him through the window. But all that did is break the glass. Yeah, there's no... no way I am getting in there. There are laptops that are... Jesus Christ, there's a third dude. You know, I thought maybe I misunderstood. I thought maybe the disposable picks are for locks that couldn't be opened. You just drill straight through them. But evidently not. Okay, a five out here. Oh, fuck. I just realized I don't actually don't, I didn't pick up those bullets this time. That's embarrassing. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another running dog, fans. Oh, I didn't even take this. Medical kit and ammo picked up. How much ammo was that? Oh, good! I had 20, brings me up to 41. Pretty much, uh, makes my day. Yeah, what the hell? Uh. <sighs> oh, actually, you know what? Okay. Wanted to give a shout out to KOR, who, uh, well, left a reference to another franchise in this genre. Like this. Uh. Sam! What happened? Sam! Sam! 
<laughs> Silly. He also describes firearms as a true point-and-click interface. You know, forget the whole, uh, you know, prestige thing. If, uh, I got a job doing a voice in a Metal Gear game, the thing that would send the shivers down my spine is if they asked me to do the Game Over voice. Because usually you'd give one for all the characters you can call on your, uh, codec. That's what they call the earpiece thing. I can't move left or right. Why do I just keep going down? Nobody's come through the door yet. I wonder if I can just push this motherfucker out the window. Okay, nobody fucking noticed. That's crazy. Frag grenade picked up! I did not think this was that kind of game! Oh, oh, oh slowly! Oh, God. Imagine being in that office and just seeing feet. I mean, in real life, I'd be cutting my hands to pieces right now because the edges of this window would be full of shards of broken glass, but... I'd already be dead if this was me. Like, I don't think I could even hold on to this fucking wall that long. I didn't want to kill that guy, I just didn't see any other way. Well, I guess I check these computers. I haven't saved yet because I'm just- oh, is the shit still gonna hit the fan? Oh man, you see the leaves in front of the light under the door? As I was rotating the camera, they were, you know, moving with it. So I, like, out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, Oh no, there's feet in front of the door! Christ almighty! What do you have? Bad things. Keep transmitting. We need to see how far this goes. What's going on? Corpses, refugee camps. They've had commandos at work in Azerbaijan for weeks. How the hell did we miss this? Keep transmitting. Alert! All men to full alert! We have an intruder in Nikolai Nikolaev's office! Wake up, you bastard! I want troops in there now! Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, no, it's in, in from here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my medical kit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, that was close! three guys who stormed Nikolaj's office. Oh, I should mention that. Yeah, I went back out of the window and hung out the edge again, like I did when I was trying to wait out the timer. And the three assholes who stormed Nikolaj's office with AK-47s sort of took dramatic poses, turned the lights back on, and bailed. Fisher, we need the rest of the files from Nikolaj's computer. This stuff is going straight to the president. He might be headed for military action, and we're going to need airtight proof. Does anyone else think it's weird that they made the president in 2004 a fictional guy named Bowers when they made the game in 2002 when they knew that George Bush should still be president in 2004? Are they going to come back in, or? Jesus, man, don't run. That's the end of it. Thank God. What exactly is going on? You wouldn't believe the numbers. 
Nikolaj has been systematically murdering his way through Azerbaijan. And we didn't know about it. Nobody did. What does he want? You can watch the news later. Rendezvous with Junior Wilkes for extraction. Who did that? Fuck me, my health is inexcusable. Get out of the way. Well, it worked last time. Let's go ahead and check my email while I'm doing this. Uh, get back to the basement parking garage for extraction. Data stick! The thing I just picked up from the other computer. From Vyacheslav Grinko to Kambayen Nikoladze. Uh, October 15th, 2004, 10-12. Subject, re, glass dagger. President Nikoladze. You can be certain that our glass dagger will shatter as intended if attacked. Our army, broken into smaller units, will only become sharper and further scattered. My contacts have scouted and secured areas of operation for our splintered army to operate. We will have a free hand in much of northern Russia, the Orient, and possibly even the United States. However, I do not believe that it will come to this. Our plans are too well laid and our enemies asleep at their posts. My only worry is your dependence on Mass and his technology. I have trouble so I have trouble trusting so obvious a coward. But the vision is yours, and I believe in it. VG. I don't love that. Oh boy. I kind of expected more dudes to come in. You know, or the, the fucking gunfire and all that. Oh. Get out of the way! Oh, shit, it's not. Man down! He's dead! Move! Fucking A, man. One of our men's been attacked. God, that's so many dudes. Good God. Justin, one of the guards walked out the window, fell four stories, and took no damage. He then looked up and started shooting me in the ass. So, uh, fuck. Oh, I can't go back to game. I guess I was actually dead by that point. Well, that sucks. But the timer had gone, so I guess we'll try to figure this shit out in the next episode. What a hot mess I've gotten myself into. <laughs> what a, and so janky. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, this is a very interesting story. I'm just kind of looking forward to the future when I get to play the, uh, the less, let's say, ancient Splinter Cell games. Jeez. I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell, Burning Dog fans. Till then, wish me luck. I'm probably going to need it. Later!